Scientists are usually passionate about the environment. And I can show you some of our data and actually it contradicts this a little bit. Geologist Andrew Johnson's no exception. This is about three million years old now. Uh, this is from a period known as the Pliocene. But when he's not studying seashells, Andrew takes his passion to another level. You see, Andrew has to go abroad for meetings and conferences, but thinks flying's bad for the planet. So, he finds other ways to get around. This has included travelling from Derby to China solely by train. In using, of course, the Trans-Siberian, which was a wonderful experience. Cycling across vast tracts of America. Down the Blue Ridge Parkway and then across the Piedmont. And when he had to get to New York, Andrew hitched a ride on this container ship. I was absolutely buzzing when I saw this, appearing out of the mist on a June day. And there, of course, is the Statue of Liberty. It was a medium-sized container ship, about 1,500... Uh, no, there were about 1,500 containers on it. It could take a little bit more than that. He figured the ship was going anyway, and on something this big, an extra passenger doesn't really add too much to the fuel bill. It's a little bit of an expensive way to get across the Atlantic, it has to be said, apart from feeling that you're, you're, you're making some sort of contribution to, uh, to travel in an environmentally friendly way. It's actually an incredible experience to realise just how vast the Atlantic Ocean is. And being a geologist, well, Andrew couldn't help himself. He calculated that for every one second of the voyage, the ship covered a section of seabed that had taken 200 years to create. And it takes eight days worth of those seconds to get across. So there you go, that gives you some insight into the immensity of geological time. Only a scientist would think like that. Brady Harron, East Midlands Today.